Hi, I'm Leslie Shude, the Senior Production Artist at Imagination in Baltimore. In this 10-part tutorial series, I'm going to demonstrate how we can apply a custom visual design to Moss by using our base master page. When we talk about Moss master pages, they are very similar to .NET master pages. However, Moss has added an extra layer called the Page Layout. In a .NET website, the web pages are connected directly to the master page. But in Moss, web pages are associated with a page layout. In Moss, the page layout is a sort of template used to control the content area of the page and sometimes other areas of the page as well. In a later chapter of this tutorial series, I'll demonstrate how we assign the master page at the site level while the page layout is assigned at the page level. The resulting page brings it all together in the web browser. Of course, we'll also talk about how to create those custom master pages and page layouts. But first, let's take a look at the default design in Moss and compare it to examples of custom visual designs that have been applied in Moss by Imagination. Here is a Moss website that uses the default master page, page layouts, and CSS that come with Moss. The main menu control is very similar to the menu control used in .NET. The Quick Launch menu is generally used to show sub-navigation items in the Moss site. A breadcrumb control is also available in Moss. In our custom designs, we will be able to move these components around and style them to match our design, or even remove them if our design doesn't call for it. The Side Actions button is a required component for all Moss designs. The site management and editing options are accessed from here. Here's the search component as it looks in the default Moss site. The main content area of the page is controlled by the page layouts. For our custom designs, we create our own page layouts to customize this area and other areas of the page. We can apply custom visual design as well as custom functionality. These are the editable regions in this particular default page layout. Later in the series, I'll demonstrate how we can add field controls or web part zones, or sometimes a combination of both, to create customized editable regions in our own page layouts. Here's an example of a custom visual design that Imagination created and applied to an outward-facing Moss website. Our client was Linkia, which is a subsidiary of Hangar Orthopedic Group. Here you can see that we use the Quick Launch menu control for the sub-navigation, but we were able to style it with CSS to match the visual design of the site. We moved the Side Actions button to the top right corner and styled it as a simple text link. It is not shown in the screenshot, but if a site administrator was logged into the site, they would see a simple text link here. Here's the search feature in Moss, which we were able to style to match the site. Here is the main content area where we used a custom page layout. The home page and interior pages use different custom layouts. Here are the editable regions in the page. For this site, we did not use the navigation control for the root navigation. We simply hard-coded these four links in the master page. Here is the website for Linkia's parent company, Hangar. Hangar also chose to use Moss for their outward-facing website. Imagination took a visual design created by Funnel Design Group and applied it to Moss. In this case, we used the ASP.NET menu control as it comes with Moss. We modified the look of the root navigation and flyout menus with our custom CSS. This site uses the breadcrumb feature. Here's an example of how the Site Actions link looks when a user is logged in. We have moved it to an unobtrusive spot in the top right corner of the design. Here is the search feature, styled to match the website, and the main content area of the page, which utilizes our custom page layouts. Here are the editable regions in the page. Our client wanted to display third-level navigation in a horizontal format here. We wrote a bit of custom code to call in the third-level nav items as an unordered list, so it could be easily styled. Here we created a custom web part to display syndicated content from other pages of the site. We also applied a custom visual design to Moss for the Maryland Office of Tourism's website. 
This visual design was created by GKV. Here is the main menu control, breadcrumbs. The side actions link appears here if the right user is logged in. Search feature. Here's the main content area and editable regions. We created custom sub-navigation functionality here because we needed to display different navigation items according to the content that is served up in the page. Again, we used our custom web part to display syndicated content from other pages. Now that we've seen some examples of how custom visual designs can be applied in Moss, this tutorial series will demonstrate the steps we take to do that. The next part of the tutorial will examine our base CSS file and show how to prepare local HTML templates for use in Moss.